Good morning, guys. Today, Kristen is 38 Hi. weeks pregnant. Yeah. Right? So she's going to pop at any time. No and baby yet. Any signs of labor? <laughs> no. So far, nothing. Just Braxton Hicks practice contractions. I'm very tired, though. I think that's my body, like, resting up for the big game, you know? There are many signs of labor, like trying to clean uh, stainless steel appliances. Um, I do want to have a garage sale. I said on Twitter the other day I really want to have a garage sale this weekend. Anyway, so uh, this morning we are hanging out in the studio where we shoot just for kids. It's really awesome. I don't think we've ever given you a tour, but there's our camera set up. We actually have like several different cameras and audio stuff and, and it's really, this really like cool. like the ultimate playroom right now. It is. She's been playing. You see all the cows? This is for a video that hasn't come out yet. She keeps asking for more doggies because this doggy is her favorite <laughs> and apparently the thing you use to blow them up. <laughs> Which is not a toy. <laughs> anyway, today's video is sponsored by visitflorida.com. Florida is a really awesome place to go. If you've never been, you should go someday. It is seriously amazing. I love Florida. I feel like for both of us, Florida has a special place in our hearts, but for different reasons. We've both had a lot of trips there on our own and we've had some as a family and they've all just been fantastic. But family is like the best though. There's so many things for families to do in Florida. Like there's Disney World. I know. Which is amazing. Oh, it was so good. That was last year. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. My favorite part of taking her to Disney was when she would not fall asleep. Like obviously she has a lot of energy. You guys know that. And there were kids all over the park just sleeping in strollers and Shell would not do it unless Corey was just holding her. I miss It's a Small World. She loved that. We were going through It's a Small World and uh, she would just like dance and ah. Yeah. What are you doing, silly? <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to do in Florida besides just the big amusement parks with kids too. Like the beaches are amazing. You've been to some fantastic beaches. Oh my gosh, Bonita Springs, Miami, everything. Destin, Florida, their beaches. It's like, like gosh, baking soda or something. It's fantastic. And then there's the Kennedy Space Center. I did that trip on my own and it was amazing to see all the rockets and just the history. And We've got to go as a family though because it's a yeah. family place. There's a lot of really cool stuff to see. Space exhibits. But yeah, so many cool things to do in Florida. I think we're going to retire there if this guy has anything to say about it. He, like you talk about Bonita Springs. A lot. I yeah. plan on buying a vacation home in Bonita Springs because it's... And Florida's where you got your tattoo. That is where I got my tattoo. Do you guys know that he has this tattoo? The, the meaning behind this tattoo is amazing. You'll have mm -hmm. to tell him because I don't so, know justice. So my tattoo, uh, it was of my first business that I had, my first uh, film company called S&P oh. Films. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know S&P Films from like older days and whatever. Yeah. But I got my tattoo in Florida because I felt like I had finally made it. And Florida was a special place for me because it was like the other side of, you know, where I used to live. I lived in California yeah, before and, and I was there on vacation for a long time and I could you know and yeah it was special but the, the the tattoo itself is I live forever through the inspiration I give others throughout my lifetime yeah and you drew that Phoenix I drew that Phoenix it's got my name in it it's got a C and a W <laughs> and really big feet because I have really big feet I <laughs> I love that you like talk about how you drew this tattoo on the computer like freehand with your mouse I think that's so funny that's how I drew it. I didn't do it I didn't do it like on a paper or anything because I had no way to scan dude and the, the mouse that I used to have to draw this Phoenix it was like this really fat gaming mouse. It was like drawing with a bar of soap. It was so bad. I think it's hilarious. But it turned out it's on other people too. I think there are seven people that have this tattoo. So cool. Which I think is awesome. Yeah. You gonna ride your doggy? Get out of the way, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's okay, purple cow. Someday she'll ride you. We really do love Florida. I have nothing but good memories of going to Florida. So if you want to learn why Florida is an amazing vacation destination for family or couples or individuals, go to visitflorida.com and check it out. Jump, 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 she jump, jump, jump. She loves that thing. <laughs> yes, she does. Aw, big Aww. hug. So much echo in this room. A lot of reverb. I really want to like, <laughs> oh no, crash. Are you okay? I feel like I should like put something up here so it's not so echoey. Good. I don't know what though, like. I love this room. She loves this room. It's cool because this room is white. Mm -hmm. And so I think the colors really pop for her as well as on camera. But I don't know, she loves it up here. 
Yeah, a lot of people are like, you're crazy for doing a white room. You're just gonna get it all dirty. Well, it's like, we have rules for this room. <laughs> like, we really do. Uh, you have to come up here with clean socks or no socks and clean feet. Um, or you come up here with a changed diaper, a freshly changed diaper, because none of that. You gotta make sure you had a bath recently, which she has. No animals up here. And no food. No food, yeah. And no fun, just no, no fun up no here. No fun. Apparently this is what Corey likes to do up here. It's fun. Are you, you're just throwing balls at the ceiling? Yeah. Oh, and if you hit it like right at the edge, like right, well, I can't really hit it because it's right like right at the edge, it goes so fast the other direction, like it hits the other wall, it goes boom, boom, boom. It's like, yeah, it's so satisfying. It's just, I don't know why this is fun. Sometimes I just let Chell play on all the things and I just throw balls. That reminds me of the movie, what is it, The Great Escape, where the guy gets put in the prison cell and he's just throwing that baseball against the wall over and over and over again. Have you guys seen that movie? I'm pretty sure it's The Great Escape. You want to play catch? Got it. All right, you catch. Put your hands up. The thing I love most about this room is that it is first and foremost a playroom for Chell, and she loves it up here. Every time we walk up the stairs, she's like, "Oh wow!" Oh, Are you juggling? <laughs> You're gonna be a comedian, Chell. I swear. See, they just run away from me. Yeah, it's their fault. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to go play in the water? Let's go! It's a sprinkler, Chell. What do you think? <laughs> water, yeah. I feel like this is the best summer activity as a kid. Like just running through a sprinkler. Oh, where are you going? Joe, come back. And Corey just mowed the lawn so it's nice and freshly cut grass. I'm just sad we don't have any more moose to run through the sprinkler. Yeah. I, I was pulling the sprinkler out of the garage and I was like, oh, I missed the moose. I know we had that in Alaska, but not here. Now we just have a little girl. She's just as fun to watch, really. <laughs> Are you trying to recruit Grark to go in the water? Ah, I'm getting wet. Goodness. <laughs> you ready to go inside, Chell? You had enough. You got nice and dirty. I like it. It's good. Got enough water. Hey, you want to take a bath? Are you just watching your stomach go in and out as you breathe? It's pretty fascinating. It feels so weird being 38 weeks pregnant, guys. Seriously, I honestly, during dinner, thought I was going into labor. Like oh, a, really? Yeah, because I had a Braxton Hicks contraction going on, and Atlas was pushing down really, really hard. Oh my gosh. I was like, what is this? We, we, she can't what pop yet, this? though. We have a new song coming. Yeah. I, uh, I've been working on it today. I actually like wrote it today. It's a, it's a song for like you know, kids who are getting ready to have brothers and sisters yeah. and just kind of talking about pregnant bellies and stuff like that. Yeah, it's gonna be really cute. Yeah, I'm so excited for yeah, it, but it yeah. That's, that's scary, I didn't know you were like gonna pop. No, well that's why I didn't say anything because I was like, this doesn't feel quite as painful as I think it should, but he's getting big. He is getting big, where's he at? <laughs> he's kind of you know, all over the place. He's a little everywhere, there's, there's, there's something right there. Yeah, I think right there too. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it just looks like I have a huge beach ball under my <laughs> shirt. It's so weird. Look at it. Being pregnant is weird, guys. <laughs> the bellies. Yeah. Yeah. Such a big belly. It is. Looks like a watermelon. Remember that when you painted a watermelon on my belly? Do you guys remember <laughs> that video with Chell? Corey painted this watermelon on my belly and it was so funny. I just want to feel him. He's sleeping. Yeah. He'll wake up when you're trying to sleep. Every night. I lay down in bed and he's like, oh, party. I want to see if I can hear his heartbeat. Mm. It's going to be a butt right there. See? <laughs> I don't know if his heart beats through his butt. Oh, well, that'd be his fart beat. <laughs> Just like his dada. <laughs> yep. 
You hear it? A little bit. I feel like I've said this before, but that's the one thing that Corey can hear that I can't. I get to feel Atlas kick. I get all these experiences that Corey can't experience, but I cannot listen to the baby's heartbeat. No. Let's see if I can make him jump today. I made Chell jump once doing this because I'm awful. Oh, wait, he's sleeping. I shouldn't make him no, jump. No, he's actually pushing up right here right now, so he's oh, waking up. It's on. Okay. <laughs> Do you see him jump? <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, oh I'm sorry, boy. Him. Now he's going to be really mm, mean to me. Mm, I'm sorry, Ooh. Atlas. Atlas, I am sorry. He's pushing his butt up against you. <laughs> Kiss that, Dada. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was such a good jump. That was that was his first big jump. Yeah. You want to do it again now, don't you? No. <laughs> Once was enough. He's your human, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Sparta has been having so much fun looking out the window at bugs recently. I feel like it is bug season in Oklahoma. Okay, Corey's looking at <laughs> bugs too. Every It's just like... There are so many bugs here. Yes, it's buggy. It is crazy. But at least they're cool bugs. They are cool. Like, I'm really, there's one in the shower right now who's like, <laughs> he looks like the friendliest little bug. He's I just know. like, but I, I don't know what he is. Uh, he, he doesn't look like anything dangerous, but. He almost looks like a firefly, but not, he doesn't have the light up in his butt. Yeah, and he's super slow. Like, yeah. real sluggish and just like, lives <laughs> in our shower. Should we get him out of our shower? Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> So here's a little guy who was just looking up a really cool looking bug. And after doing a lot of research on Google, we found out this is a large weevil. And this species likes to be on dead trees. So we're going to take this little guy here, take him over to the dead trees. Look at him. He's so cool looking. There's a better shot of him. He's got a really cool looking nose. He's neat. All right, let's take him out. We will find you a dead tree. There you go, buddy. There's lots of dead tree bits for you to chew on out here. Better out here than stuck in a shower. All right. We were going to say goodbye because Corey is still eating, even though we had an amazing dinner. And I should just keep talking until you're done eating. What do you want me to talk about? We've had an awesome day. I hope you guys had an awesome day. Thank you for hanging out with us. We will see you tomorrow. I will not have a baby before then, I promise. I can't, I can't promise that, but probably won't. And uh, are you done eating? He's not, he's not done eating. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one, guys, bye.